I'm going to take a look at the uh, Blood Angel Dreadnoughts I've been working on. And uh, of these five here, four of them have the sarcophagus where I can change it out. Although the venerable one doesn't really take the other sarcophagus sarcophagi too well because of the way the the back piece fits. I'll show that in just a minute. But this is the Black Reach Dreadnought converted to a uh, Death Company Dreadnought. You can see I had to fill in a few of the places. And I still need to go in and sand that stuff down. Clean it up. I just kind of filled it in. This area here doesn't match up real well either. So I need to get in there. Still need to do some cleanup on the green stuff work I did, but all the, the arms come off. Now you only come with enough blood claws to really do two sets of blood claws, and that's with leaving out that other arm, as previously shown in the other video. But these pieces all they don't stay. These pieces don't stay on real great. Kind of got to knock them in place. But the melted guns, bolters, and flamers come off. See it just wants to come out every once in a while. I don't have a real strong magnet in that though, but I can take the claw off, take the storm bolter off, take the arm off. Same thing on that side. I cut the plates here that were on the black reach dreadnought. I just trimmed off as much as I could and then shaved it down in this stuff. I believe that's a venerable dreadnought plate and then that's the death company dreadnought plate but this sarcophagus is fixed in place some of the other weapon options I ended up with I have a last cannon that comes from the venerable kit magnetized the melt the gun from the assault on black reach kit that's magnetized plasma cannon from the venerable dreadnought kit that's magnetized frag cannon from the Furioso kit that's magnetized. This is one of the close combat arms from the Siege Dreadnought, I believe. I have it magnetized, but because of the magnet I have in the bottom to hold the uh, melted gun or flamer or storm bolter, the magnet kept pushing up, so I need to fix that one so it can actually be useful to hold something. I have some bits that will go on those close combat arms. There's a little chain fist. That's from the Siege Dreadnought kit. Power Claw. Another Power Claw. I believe those are from the Furioso. So I guess they're Blood Claws. There's another Claw Arm. That's from the Siege Dreadnought. There's a nice fist from the Venerable Dreadnought. But those will all go on any of the close combat fists just with a quick snap of the magnet. I also have this close combat arm for the from the Siege Dreadnought. I guess that could just be used to as a counts as weapon if you wanted to. I have this X one from the Siege Dreadnought to the uh, bolters. Uh, just kind of a superfluous arm. Really don't need it. And then I have another force weapon from the Furioso Librarian. If I want to field two Furioso Librarians, I can change out the sarcophagus. And I have a Death Sub Company sarcophagus here, magnetized where it'll pop in. Uh, if I plan on using that, I might have to figure out something with the paint jobs on the other where it'll look interchangeable without being odd. And I have a Furioso sarcophagus to snap on and off if I want two librarians dreadnoughts but here are the rest of them let's take a look at the variable first of course you got the arms there's the assault cannon and that's from the venerable dreadnought kit the, uh, power claw this is the one from the assault on black reach and this is the only one the storm bolters hard fixed it but you have the magnets in both of the arms of course have the magnet up here to attach it to the storm raven but I filled in the, the gap there and it's hard to see the magnet yeah 
and on most of the rest of them I put a metal disc in there to help snap and hold but because of the way this angle fits here and here and how much there is there of plastic to fit in I really don't get a good fit with any of the other sarcophagus I'll show one of the other ones here real quick I would planned on swapping this and out with the see it doesn't really fit well kind of a gap down there at the bottom so that one didn't work out as well as it did but I had the kit anyway so I'll show up with the death company one too it just le it leaves a gap on the death company when the library when the hood interferes up there so I could probably shave off something but you still get that nice gap underneath there you probably would never notice it but it may, may be good to paint that one a little odd to where the death company sarcophagus can come off maybe have a black venerable dreadnought then we've got the one done up as a librarian and of course that weapon just comes off you don't have to worry about any support weapon underneath. Then his claw will come off, flamer, and arm. And I can slip the sarcophagus on or off. There's what I was talking about, the metal disc. It'll snap on and off. It makes the pull go a little easier. You don't get the perfect fit there. You get a little bit of wobble. And then these two are basically the same same thing the sarcophagus come off but I also have the magnet grapple you can see where they got the magnet poking through a little I may do a little green stuff work there to cover that up but I have the magnet in there and the one that would attach to the storm raven underneath will also hold that on but it only really works well for the furioso kits I don't think you can put a library one but It'll fit on the librarian one fine, but it, the magnet grapples really don't. Uh, it fits on the uh, venerable kit fine. So, see how it fits with the Death Company. I know it won't fit on my Death Company Dreadnought because of the way the Black Reach one goes. Yeah, so it, it'll work. The only one the magnet grapple really won't work with is the death company kit it has a different a lot of this area here isn't as recessed so you can see that the piece won't go down in there but overall I'm happy with this I just need to do some cleanup and uh, those will be ready to paint whenever I get around to that and that should be it for those well that wasn't quite it I do have these monstrosities here that I got off of eBay and they were just obnoxiously huge so you can see I've got the regular blood talon and I have that huge thing there let me take the arms off and you can kind of get a size comparison And then I have all these bits that I can swap out here. I believe I went through it, had them earlier. But you can see the magnets are in those. And that's it on this.